Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'll be showing you my October beauty trash. Um, these are products that I have used up during the month of October. I'll kind of show you and let you know if I liked it, if I didn't, if I'm going to purchase or not. Anyway, I have a lot of trash sitting here in front of me, so let's get started. First of all, I have two little um, bath bombs from Lush. These are both in the Rose Jam scent. I love these. I like to buy these during Christmas, kind of treat myself. And what I do to help to make these last a little bit longer is I will cut them up into four pieces so I can use them in four different baths. So kind of help to extend the, the money a little bit that way because they are not cheap. And then I have a Holy Grail type product. This is from Weed Ad. This is my moisturizing curl quencher, curl quencher moisturizing styling gel. I buy these direct from the Weed Ad website and I buy the liter size. I have used this probably going on 15 years now and love it, love it, love it couple of perfumes. First is my Clinique Happy. This would be considered my signature scent. I've probably gone through, gosh, I can't even tell you how many bottles I have gone through of this. I know I have used it for just as long as I've used the Weed Ad, so at least a good 15 years. Love this. I get tons of compliments when I wear that, so definitely am going to repurchase. Now this guy I'm not going to repurchase and it's not because I didn't like the scent. I did. I liked the way it smelled. This is the Juicy Couture in the Couture La La. The issue was with this little guy was that the scent just didn't last. It, you could spray it and within a few hours you, it was like you have no perfume on at all. But in the bottle and the way it smells, I love it. It's just wish it lasted. But anyway, so I'm not going to purchase that. And I have a little poof. I've talked about these before. I get mine at the Bath and Body, Bath and Body Works. Um, this is probably the only thing that I buy at the Bath and Body Works now. But I love these little poofs. I think they're perfect. They're just the right um, amount of roughness or texture to them to help to exfoliate the skin. And I like to get those when they are on sale during like their semi-annual sale because then you can get them really cheap because they're normally like six dollars but during the sale you can usually get them for a couple dollars three dollars my makeup wipes y'all see this every single month I get this at big lots like those will definitely repurchase I have a shower gel this is from soft soap I think I got this at Walmart or at Walgreens. It was the Ultra Rich Shea Butter Cream Moisturizing Body Wash with Moisture Beads in it. And I really did like this. It did not irritate me, so it would definitely be something I would think about repurchasing once I get through the other 50 bottles of shower gels that I have. This was a gift with purchase from Ulta. It's from the Honest Beauty Company. It's the Elevated Hydration Replenishing Mist. And I did enjoy this while I was using it enough that I think I'm going to put this on my favorites list at Ulta. And when Ulta comes around with their 20% off, I'm going to purchase one of these. Um, it was just perfect to finish off my makeup to help to settle the powder look and then just really I felt like it really did help to um, moisturize whereas you know the MAC Fix Plus is good for just settling the powder look but it doesn't offer you know, any kind of hydration whereas this one does and I really liked that I liked the smell of it too as kind of a, a spa smell like an Aveda product type smell so I'm thinking about getting one of those this I will definitely repurchase this is from the Kerastase and it's the Chronologisty hair mask anyway I definitely love this I love the smell of it I like the way it made my hair feel and the way it made my curls 
display and I just whew, sad it's gone and I wish I had a perfume that smells like this because it just smells so good it's not like a floral it almost has a hint of um, musk maybe to it with a little bit of a spiciness to it but I really really did like that another product that I really do like and it's just what's left of it it's this here is the Kate Somerville Exfilicate. This is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful oh, chemical slash chemical exfoliant. No, chemical slash physical exfoliant because it does have a chemical property in it because you're going to put it all over your face and you're going to let it set for two or three minutes while you shower, put a little bit of water with it, and then you're going to scrub your face. Not like scrub, scrub, but you know, gently scrub. And then when you get out of the shower, your face, oh my gosh, your face feels so good and so smooth and, mm, and this is perfect to use, you know, a couple times a week, once a week. It's a very pricey product, unfortunately. So anytime Sephora offers this as a 100 point perk or if I can get it in a kit or um, if they're offering it as a free code, I jump all over it because I love that. Um, a product from Sephora, and this is the Sephora brand. I can't get that to focus, can I? Nope, you're not going to be able to see it. It's from the Sephora brand, and it's the Pearl Sleepy Mask. And it's in this little square box. But the product itself is just in this little plastic container right here. Now, this is designed, and it will tell you that, you know, you're going to get a one night's use out of this. But you can get three, maybe even four nights out of it. So if you get these and when you get ready to open it, make sure you have a baggie handy. So when you get out the amount that you want for that night, just kind of close it up a little bit and then stick it into your baggie and seal your baggie. And then you can use that for two or three nights. And I, re I really did like this. I thought it was a pretty decent sleeping mask for the price. And but definitely, I have another one that I think is the rose. This one was the pearl. I liked the pearl. I haven't used the rose one yet. Another product. Whoa. Nellie, where'd you go? Another product that I really, really do like, and this is from Tatcha, and it's the Indigo Soothing Rice Enzyme Powder. Now, unfortunately, Sephora does not sell it in this little travel size like this. Now, they do the white one but not the one that's in the purple. This was a, a code that Sephora had put out a while back. You put, you know, made a $25 purchase, you put in the code, and you got this free. I really, really did like this. Unfortunately, this brand is very expensive and to buy the big one, a little bit out of reach for right now. But the white one, they do sell in this size pack and it's like 15 maybe $20 and it's a really good way to try a powder cleanser if you've not ever tried one. I like to use this in the morning time as my morning cleanser. Just take like a dime size amount into my hand, add some micellar water to it and make it into a little um, paste or foamy and then just clean my face with it and oh, again would make my face feel very smooth and just ready for my skincare for the day and my makeup and I would if it wasn't for the price I would purchase it um, if they ever do another code and get one of these most definitely if it comes in like a little gift pack or something like that that had this one in it yes I would definitely get another one if I could most yes okay let's talk about Benigma. this is a bee venom face cream and it does have real bee venom in it so obviously if you are allergic to bees you will want to steer clear of this but um, this is a pretty pricey pricey little guy but lucky for me I was able to use a coupon code that Tati had we got it 50% off and this was a perfect cream to put on as your last step of your morning skincare routine before putting your makeup on because you could use this as a moisturizer and a primer and a skin prep for your makeup and it worked perfect for that and 
I would definitely purchase that again if I could get another discount coat. This, the Sunday Riley Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. Most definitely I'm going to get a big bottle of this. This came in the, um, the little duo pack that has the Luna sleeping oil in it. I don't really care for the sleeping oil, but this, this I do like. And I took the little container out and squeezed, poked a hole in there and got every last bit of it out that I possibly could. And this made a wonderful, I like to use this one of the morning as my morning um, treatment serum. Another um, chemical exfoliant that I liked very well that I've had several samples of and this is the Chanel, the Le Weekend de Chanel and if it wasn't for the price of it I would definitely think about you know buying it but unfortunately you know Chanel never goes on sale and it's not sold places where they offer a discount on it so won't be buying it but I really did enjoy it while I had it. Now this product from Chanel um, didn't really wow me and this was the Hydra Beauty Micro Serum. It was okay but I just feel like for the price point that there are other serums out there that are better that are least are um, less expensive. Throwing all this down in my basket. This guy did not like it all. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Laser Free Retexturizing Exfoliating Scrub. This was in a gift pack. I just didn't really care for this line at all. And I think the reason why I didn't like this is that it had a very strong feel of silicone in it. Like it had a lot of silicone I felt like. And I, I don't like silicone so I didn't like that. So I would definitely not purchase the full size. The Fresh my light is just okay anyway this is the fresh soy face cleanser this was a nice cleanser if you're looking for um, a fairly decent price wise cleanser I think you could go with the fresh line um, definitely look for it in like a gift pack or something like that but yes I did like that but this one I liked better and this is from Murad, and it's the AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. So you're getting a chemical and a physical exfoliant in this because it has the little bitty um, tiny beads in it, plus it has your alpha hydroxies in it. So I felt like, you know, it really helped to exfoliate and get that dead skin off. This was really nice to use. Um, daily because of the fact that it was gentle you know it had the little small beads in it so I didn't feel like it was harming my skin or being too harsh so I'm definitely thinking about getting one of those and then I also had the Murad skin smoothing polish the pore reform now this is strictly a physical exfoliant whereas it just had the beads in it and you just you know manually exfoliate your skin with it. This I would just use a couple times a week as definitely not a product that you would you would want to use you know, every single day just because it did have a little bit more grit to it. Oh now this little guy I did like I think this was a gift with purchase from Ulta and it's the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels and I would definitely think about getting those again. They were very cooling, they were very thick, and from start to finish, they really felt like they had just came out of the ice box, were nice and cool on the eye, and really helped to reduce the puffiness, which, you know, you could put cold spoons on there, it would do that, but this was really nice. I enjoyed it, and depending on the price, I haven't really looked at the price on them, I would think about getting some of those. Maybe when Sephora or Sephora when Ulta does their 20% off. Okay, let's see here a MAC item. This was the MAC False Lashes Maximizer. It's just a eyelash primer. I didn't care for this. It got really goopy really fast and because it was so goopy, it was really hard to coat the eyelashes with, and it took a long time, and I just won't repurchase that, but I am going to MAC that. MAC, back to MAC that. Oh, 
Another MAC item is a eyebrow pencil and this is just one of the um, twist up type in the color lingering and I have been wearing this for a while. This is probably like my fifth one that I've gone through. I do like that and will repurchase. A little sample of the Dior, Dior Show Maximizer Lash Primer. I did enjoy this lash primer. I enjoyed this quite a bit and it wasn't quite empty but I had used it so much I lost my little spoolie, my little cone thingy broke off in there. It was sad. Anyway, um, when Nordstrom gets ready to do their, um, their mascara sale, you know, where you buy two, get one free, I'm going to get one of these and then two of these. And this is the Giorgio Armani Black Ecstasy Mascara. I really, really, really did like this too. These two paired with the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara match main heaven. Love it. I have a little packet of applicators from Ulta. There was 75 in here and they're just the little dual tipped cotton. Here, I have one right here. This is what they mean by dual tipped. One is a flat side. You're probably not going to be able to see that. One's a flat side and then one's a pointy side. And I like to have that because it's very versatile on helping to clean up any makeup mistakes, lip liner, whatever you need it for. So like those. Another MAC item that this I'm not going to repurchase. This is the MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour extended eye base. It was okay. I like the Too Faced, um, the glitter glue. Yeah, glitter glue. I like this one better as a eyelid primer for me. So I'm not going to be repurchasing that, but it would go back to MAC. Okay, what do we want to talk about now? Let's talk about a sample from Chanel of a foundation, the Vita Aqua 20 Beige. Um, I used it, but it was not my favorite, and for the price point, I think I could find a drugstore foundation that I would like better, so I'm not going to be getting a full size of that. A long comb. Uh, Genifique Serum. Um, it was okay. I mean, I don't know. I mean, this was a pretty good deluxe size sample, but I don't really, I didn't really notice anything that was just exciting about it. So, probably would not purchase that. And another very high end serum that I'm definitely not going to purchase is from La Mer. I can't even tell what kind of serum this was, but um, not only would I not repurchase it or purchase it because of the price point, but I just didn't really feel like it did anything for me. It wasn't any better than the long comb, so no. And then this here was a little sample of the La Mer powder, and I do have a full size of it, but once it's gone, I won't repurchase because La Mer decided to reformulate the powder and in doing so they put it into a smaller package that has less product and then they raise the price so definitely not going to be repurchasing that. Then I have here this is a Marc Jacobs a little deluxe sample of a lip gloss. I'm going to go ahead and toss it. It's old. I'm not a lip gloss type person I just hardly ever use them but this one if I was to get a lip gloss I would recommend this one because I thought it was pretty nice considering I don't like lip glosses. I have an essence from um, a Mimi box this is called Believe in a Bottle and it's a moist full booskin which is a, a essence and a toner together and I really did enjoy this. A full size of this is like $32. This one is only 65 mil and a full size is 120 something mil. But this lasted me a very, very long time. This guy, I probably used this for a good three months, just this little bottle here. Cause, and that was using it twice a day. I really did like that. 
Another product from Lancome is the Regenerage Lift Multi Action Moisturizer. This was a nice moisturizer. I don't know if I would want to go out and purchase it or not. Um, I don't. I don't know because I just. I use so many different kinds of moisturizers at night. It's hard for me to just pinpoint an absolute favorite because I like to try different ones. But it was nice. It wasn't bad at all. And let's see. Then I have this here from Dr. Brandt. And this is called The Needles No More. An instant wrinkle relaxing cream. And I will say that, it, yes, I could feel it relaxing the area up here but it was not enough relaxation for me to notice a big difference and it was very 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 short-lived so I would definitely not spend my money on that from Aveda a botanical eye cream energizing eye cream and it was okay for but for me it just was not hydrating enough I am tossing this. This is a Tarte um, foundation. It came in a kit from QVC a few years ago and it's just getting old and needs to go away. It was the Smoothing Balm in the color Fair and I just felt like it was just too cakey for me. I just didn't really like it that well at all. Deodorant Degree Clinical Strength like we'll get again. A Clarins One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser. Again, this is kind of like the same lines as the, the Murad, where it was a cleanser and exfoliating. It just didn't have any of the, um, the chemical exfoliants in it like the Murad did. It's just um, a physical. So I would do the Murad over this one. And then the last thing that I have that I want to talk about and this is a sheet mask and it's from, called the Cram Shop and I got this at Walgreens and it was a single and I want to say it was three dollars possibly four for one sheet mask I got one of each different ones that they had and then since then I've seen them in boxes in boxes of like five at TJ Maxx for like six dollars anyway regardless of the price I don't normally tell you to not get something because I think everybody is different and everybody's skin reacts differently but all of all of this one that I try not just the rose water but every single one the coconut the aloe they all burned my eyes like you would not believe and no I would not recommend them at all. They have there's some kind of chemical in here that is if it is burning your eyes that bad, you don't need it. You don't need to put it on your face. So I would stay away from that brand. And it's Cram C R E M E. So anyway, so that's for it for my empties. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.